I think I figured it out. So, as I thought, we're gonna put this off. So we don't get shocked, which could be a thing. We take the bolt with us. And now, given that we have that we pushed push the gurney into the elevator, elevator, and we open this one, we can basically go down, go into the elevator, and then go to the go in go into that uh, into that area and use the bolt to get access in there. That sounds that, that that sounds like something that makes sense. Where was the little no wait, elevator? Yeah, the elevator was here. Just hope that thing doesn't fucking close on us though. No, come on. Who the man? Yeah, now we put the thing and in the, in the shit into the, the shits. Turned off. Okay, we use that. Boom. Bop. Bada bop. Boom. Pow. More freaks. Oh. Okay. See how much thing this, how much fucking bullet this thing takes. A little bit. Okay. See you right back there, I guess. Fuck. I don't know if we can hail Mary this. Like if we can lure this guy into the into the into the into the shits, would be kind of cool. But we need like insane timing, and the last time was literally just pure luck. I think that guy will just also just crawl through. Wasted one shot, but that's all right. Whoa. Okay. Interesting attack there, my boy. Shit, he's still alive. That was a little bit excessive. Okay. We're gonna overflow the sink here like a hitman. Disinfectant room. The room for that? Apparently there's a room for anything, eh? Microscopes and various medical items. And only in America, apparently, shotgun shells as well. Okay. 30... March 3rd, 1981. We have searched the closest... Close... Close... Closest forests and coasts for more than six months, but have not found a thing. Not even a tear of tear of clothing. The authorities told me there is no point to keep looking for them. It hurts to think that they might be right. Maria remains in a mental state that I cannot describe. I have never seen anything like it before. This goes beyond any illness. It more closely resembles a demonic curse. I still hold on to hope that Maria is somewhere inside the, that decaying being. Sometimes my doubts creep in. And I want to cut her throat to stop the suffering, but something inside inside me cannot let her go. I need to find the cure. 
Give me the serum. More fiend. Better than less fiend, eh? <laughs> Shit. Kill me now. Good. Uh, do we have a map of this place? Nope. So I can't tell if that was every, every, any, pff, everything. But let's just hope that it was. Anesthesia. Ugh. Anesthesia room. A report about the Timsuit tribe. <laughs> Alone in the dark much? Timsuit legends around the, of the mag magical blood that cur cu curses through the veins of twins. Yeah. Ah. Allowing them to communicate with each other by thought alone. Some even claim that brothers and sisters could appear next to each other in seconds across incredible distances. It is not surprising that the first explorers to arrive on the island called such gifted younglings witch children. Unfortunately, they seldom survive 10 or 11 summers once chosen for sacrifice. However, the most striking tale is that of the nights when no moon was in the sky, the nights when the little twins would be sacrificed. The children would dance, torch in hand, around the tribes deceased while the remaining tribesmen ex extinguished their torches. With this ritual, the dead would walk, to, walk the earth again at least for one night. Well, that's normal, I guess. His body was badly burned. Sure looks like it, yeah. Some nails next to it, or in front of it. Probably not the Maria that we were talking about. Pretty sure it's not that. When the fuck would I turn it off? Shotgun shell. Jesus fucking Christ! What the fuck? This is the blood of the chosen twins. The oh yeah. Well, thanks for that hint. Oh, maybe. Maybe. If I turn off the light, turn off the light. Maybe it shows me something there. <laughs> it doesn't make it look better. It makes it actually less better. Leave the lights on for now. It's just this. That's a nice camera angle. Face resembles Nem Nemi a little bit. Looks a little bit like it. At least the mouth department. The rest, not as much. I'm also not sure what that thing on the table is. This body appears to have been operated on multiple times. It doesn't even look human. Well, who is doing this? I mean, it still looks human, sort of. Still humanoid at the very least. I'm more like concerned about that thing hanging from the ceiling there. That looks way more terrible. That that looks that looks worse. Also with the thing on the head, like ugh. This camera angle. You have like no light. It's not good. Why can I turn off and on the light here? There has to be something. Pretty sure there has to be something. That is not good. That is absolutely garbage. But I don't like that. What's that? Infectious virus area. Authorized personnel only. Well, we're authorized now, I guess. Were we here before? Ah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> hmm.
Yeah. Watch this. Yeah. Watch me go up in it. Like this. Yeah, like, like real slow. Like. Oh. Came to the wrong house, motherfucker. Excuse me? What the fuck is this? Yo. Father, what's going on here? Why is that weird man walking around the operating table with that weird chandelier in his hands? What are you talking about, child? I don't see anything. Yo. Watch me go up in it like you don't see the man on the other side of the glass more like grading if that's what you call it my child this place is giving you hallucinations you must rest you must suck these nuts i don't know what's real or what is a product of my imagination father let me tell you a story Hundreds of years ago, this island was inhabited by a tribe. One night, the moon could not be seen in the night sky, and the world was plunged into darkness. The shaman of the tribe, those with special blood, danced around their dead, willing their bodies to rise and walk the earth once more. That sounds terrifying. Hundreds of years ago. Oh, yeah, gotcha. That so I got some some Gino cult shit. <laughs> um A man in a radioactive suit is walking around a body in circus. I thought it was night armor actually. Come back. Come back here. Oh, I guess it is. It looked like knight's armor to me, actually. But, uh, hey. Hey. I got a fucking shotgun, though. Let's see him. Hmm. Okay, so we got that. Uh, let me check in here one more time. Yeah, this operating room is weird. It's like the whole turning off the shit and then we don't have anything here is weird as well. I can't interact with anything, however. That guy can probably come back to life, which is also nice. At least when it's when, it, when like the light is turned off, so there has to be something with that. But I can't recall any... Anything that we, um... Anything that we, like, read that gives us an insight. Thank you for allowing us to interview... You, Director Bertram Wildberger, we, we are very aware that this is a particular delicate time for you and the people of Winter Lake. Do you have any information about how the fire began? Experts are working hard to find the answer. Unfortunately, we are still wa waiting to discover the cause. What will happen now that the hospital is completely lost? As director of the hospital and as some grateful for everything life has given me, I am currently working on accommodating the hospital's needs within my mansion. This, of course, will be temporary. At least until we manage to construct a new hospital building. I have also spoken to kind donators who will be providing equipment and furniture. How generous of you, director. I am merely God's servant. I exist to do as well. I guess that's the fucking priest that we have been talking. Jesus Christ. Talking to uh, so far. So I just looked this up. And again, this makes sense. Because we've seen the guy walking around the dead body. With the torch, or like the chandelier. Remember that? It's 
So I'm gonna keep doing this. This is actually fucking sick. Yep. There we go. <laughs> this game, man. If I wouldn't have looked this up, I would have I would have never guessed that, I think. But that makes sense again, you know? Oh shit. Okay. I think what we're gonna do now. Because nothing happened, obviously, while the light was turned on. I'm gonna turn the light on. I'm gonna get the fucking shotgun and just fucking blow his ass to bits, hopefully. It only takes one bullet? That's weak. Well, let's hope it packs a punch then. Girl, please. Oh, it fucking does. She. Mind that bitch. There we go. Back, back. Demon. There's 10 million ways to die. Choose one. You've just chosen it. Bitch. <laughs> oh, it was locked. Now, nah, don't shoot. What the, what the fuck are you doing, girl? You wasted a shot. I didn't even press the button to go into ready stance. She crazy. She goddamn fucking crazy. Okay. So we got that shit sorted. Uh, here we go. An old scalpel. It's very sharp. To get the locked door. So it all boils down, boils down, basically, to the battery, I assume. We just like the pent ultimate item that we want to get. At least I would assume so. Um... There are the knights. Uh, I see. It was... Yeah, yeah, actually one floor down. Yeah. Nice, that body is still there. Nice and cozy. So we have, like, a... guy in a wheelchair there, which is... which. Could spell disaster. Let's hope it doesn't. <clears throat> um. I think it was this way. Was it downstairs? Or was that... Ah, oh, no, 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 wait, that was locked. Ah, yeah, definitely not this way. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah this way. We could have also, like, I just got it, like, we could have, uh, we could also check the map. <coughs> but yeah. It's this way. Yeah, no time for your bullshit. Nice and good. Sugar and spice, good and nice, everything nice. Nothing here is useful. I can't just defend myself in the darkness. A fridge, it doesn't seem to be operational. Yeah, because, uh... Ooh. Someone was living here. I thought there was, like, a VHS tape maybe in there. That would have been useful. I would have known where to use that. Oh, 
Oh, this looks like straight out of Silent Hill again. Oh, take that. Put these bodies here. Oh! Nice. Okay. It's a morphine. Let's do some light reading, but okay, I'm gonna take care of that later. Because first, I have to take care of this garbage. We have to turn on the power because. I have to deal with that guy. Something's rattling. Not I saw that. Okay, I'm um, a little bit. I don't know. That 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 terrified the fuck out of me for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, that's the radioactive shit behind behind the door. What the? I don't like this. <laughs> I don't. I don't like this one fucking bit. This is this is a this is a problem. Also, this. Like, why? Why is this a thing? Yeah, I think I found my greatest fear. It's when I hear weird shit. And I number one, I can't pinpoint where it comes from. And I don't know what's causing it. And it doesn't stop. I hate it. I hate this a lot. Hey, there you go. There you go. It doesn't fucking stop. Jesus. That's comforting. To a certain degree. Come here, bitch. Shotgun's ready. Well, I mean, it's over exagger or exaggerating, but. We don't want to stumble into the darkness. That fucking sound is still going. Morphine? Good, 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 good. Medical report of a hospital patient. Winter Lake Hospital, 6th, 6th, 1916th. 1916. Dr. Rick Pelletier of her two twin babies Miriam Morizette in the process of delivering gives birth to her first Bebe Noah, but unfortunately the other twin Meth 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 Methushael passed away as soon as the umbilical umblis um umbilical um umbilical I think it's called cord attached to an umbilical yeah uh, was cut at the moment. The cause of his untimely death are unknown. We hope the autopsy will give us some answers. Probably has to do with some rituals. Looks like a toast on the locker there. Not sure where he comes from, but let's lure him into the light. And then give him the business. Uh, these guys. <laughs> the back dash. I like that. Okay. Unlocked. 
Now we can light that up. Make that whole atmosphere a little bit more pleasant. It's too dangerous to step into this water. Jesus. So now we have to disable the electronics or something. Well, that probably won't fix the issue. <clears throat> okay, let me go this way first. Towards the rattling noises. Not sure whether that is good or not. I think I went here, though. Yeah, yeah, I came from here. At least I'm riding a sword and not getting aggressive. That would be more aggressive. That would be a bigger issue. What the fuck? What is this camera angle? Ah, okay. Got it. Where is that rattling coming from? I guess from down there, eh? Okay, get ready for the Silent Hill locker jumps or not. Locker jump scare was about the same. Small metal dial. There are symbols on the edge. Nice PlayStation symbols. A severed hand is in... Is in toilet bowl. Let's say head. Hand, obviously. Oh, oh my fucking god, I said it! You garbage. Garbage. Absolute garbage. I fucking hate you. Ugh. Okay, thanks for that. Garbage. <sighs> I can't do this. You can't can't do this to, to to your boy. What the fuck? What the fuck have I ever done to deserve this? Enough, allegedly. Okay, now at least that rattling stopped, so we know where that came from. <laughs> at least we stopped that, and I was right to get fucking paranoid by that. I think this can only bode well. I mean, bad. Yeah, well, sure. Ah, here we go. 